Welcome back. Today, we will be talking about the fundamental rights given by the Constitution of India. You will also learn about various conditions associated with these rights. Finally, we take a look at how the scope of rights has been expanding. Let us now begin with three examples of what it means to live in the absence of rights. The Guantanamo Bay Detention is a United States military prison located within Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba. About 600 people were secretly picked up by the U.S. forces from all over the world and put in a prison in Guantanamo Bay. The American government said that they were enemies of the U.S. and linked to the attack on New York on 11 September 2001. There was no trial before any magistrate in the U.S. Amnesty International is an international human rights organization. They collected information on the condition of the prisoners in Guantanamo Bay and reported that the prisoners were being tortured in ways that violated the U.S. laws. A hereditary king is the ruler of Saudi Arabia and the citizens do not have the right to elect the ruler. The king selects the executive and legislature without the election or concern of citizens. Kosovo was a province of Yugoslavia before it split. In this province the majority population was ethnic Albanian. But in the entire country, Serbs were in majority. A narrow-minded Serb nationalist Milosevic had won the election. His government was very hostile to the Kosovo Albanians. The Albanians were demanded to leave the country. Think of all the examples that we have discussed so far. Rights in a democracy. The citizens of a country want to lead a happy and peaceful life without conflicts. For this, we all should live in a way so that no one harms us and we do not harm anyone. We should know what rights are and what democratic rights are. Rights are reasonable claims of persons recognized by society and sanctioned by law. Democratic rights are given to the citizens when they ensure that they will not interfere with others' rights. Why do we need rights in a democracy? In a democracy, every citizen has the right to vote and the right to be elected to government. Rights protect minorities from the oppression of majority. In most democracies, the basic rights of the citizen are written down in the constitution. In India, the basic rights are mentioned in the constitution. Fundamental rights. Some rights which are fundamental to our life are given a special status. They are called fundamental rights. Our constitution provides six fundamental rights. Let us look at these one by one. Right to equality. It grants equality to all its citizens in the eyes of law. The constitution in India says that the government shall not deny equality before the law or the equal protection of the laws. The laws shall be applying in the same manner to all, regardless of a person's status. This is called the rule of law. Rule of law is the foundation of any democracy. No discrimination can be made against any citizen on grounds of birth, caste, religion and gender. All citizens have equality of opportunity in matters relating to employment or appointment to any position in the government. The constitution made untouchability a punishable offense. Rights to freedom. We want to live in society, but we want to be free. Freedom means absence of constraints. Under the Indian constitution, all citizens have the right to freedom of speech and expression, assembly in a peaceful manner form associations and unions, move freely throughout the country, reside in any part of the country, and practice any profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business. Freedom of speech and expression is one of the essential features of democracy. But you cannot express certain opinions which may incite public hatred and violence or which may hurt the sentiments of a particular religion or community. You cannot incite others to rebel against the country. There are many issues on which a person or a group of persons needs to hold public meetings. But such meetings have to be peaceful. 
people attending the rally or a meeting should not be carrying weapons citizens also can form associations for example workers in a factory can form a workers union to promote their interests various professionals like doctors businessmen lawyers etc make their own associations to promote their interests every citizen has the right to travel to any part of the country one can reside in any part of the country as well constitution of india provides right to practice any profession as per choice moreover the constitution also gives the right to life which means a person's life cannot be taken until and unless a court awards death sentence to him this also means that a person cannot be arrested by the police without proper legal sanction in case of an arrest the police will inform the person about the reason of confinement the detained person should be produced before a magistrate within 24 hours the detained person has the right to consult a lawyer and engage a lawyer the next fundamental right is right against exploitation the constitution mentions three specific evils and declares these illegal first the constitution prohibits traffic in human beings traffic here means selling and buying of human beings second our constitution also prohibits forced labor or beggar in any form finally the constitution also prohibits child labor no one can employ a child below the age of 14 to work in any factory or mine or in any other hazardous work the constitution gives the right to freedom of religion as per this right a person is free to follow a religion of his or her choice india is a secular state most people in india follow different religions the government does not interfere in the religious matter of its citizens every person has the right to profess practice and propagate his religion there shall be no religious instruction in the government educational institutions next is cultural and educational rights the meaning of minority is not referring to religion only rather it is also about the linguistic and cultural groups for example telugu speaking people are in majority in andhra pradesh while they are in minority in karnataka followers of sikhism are in majority in punjab but they are in minority in delhi and haryana admission to any educational institution maintained by government cannot be denied to any citizen on the ground of religion or language all minorities have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice how can we secure these rights the fundamental rights in the constitution are enforceable we have the right to seek the enforcement of these rights by moving to the high courts or the supreme court The right to constitutional remedies is a fundamental right. This right makes other rights effective. Dr Ambedkar called the right to constitutional remedies the heart and soul of our constitution. From time to time, the courts gave judgments to expand the scope of rights. Now school education has become a right for Indian citizens. The governments are responsible for providing free and compulsory education to all children up to the age of 14 years. Parliament has enacted a law giving the right to information to the citizens. Constitution provides many more rights which may not be fundamental rights. For example, the right to property is not a fundamental right but it is a constitutional right. Right to vote in elections is an important constitutional right. Dears I hope this video is beneficial for you to understand the concept quickly if you liked the video please share and subscribe to this youtube channel to access more such useful study resources thank you